Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to look at using your rig, your HF rig, to use the SWR meter that is in the HF rig. Okay, now the SWR meter uh, can be brought to the fore. Usually it's one of several meters that you have in your radio and sometimes you need to change a menu setting or something to see it. On the ICOM 7300 there is a meter that's always up in the upper left hand corner of the screen. By touching that you get it to cycle through the various things it will measure and one of the things that it will measure is SWR. Now, if you measure SWR using that meter, it is measuring, uh, if you have your tuner off, it is measuring the transmission line and antenna combination for SWR. If you have the tuner on, it's measuring the effect of the tuner plus the transmission line plus the antenna. Okay, so you can see how well your uh, tuner is tuning. Now, uh, there are three ways of doing this on the 7300. One is by using that meter that's up in the corner. Second is by viewing uh, the all meters option and then just looking at the SWR. And that's a better one because that meter is calibrated. It's got a scale on it so you can tell what your measurement is. And then the third way is to look at a graph or plot of SWR across frequency. And I'm going to show you all three ways on the ICOM 7300. Now I'm not sure what your radio may have on it. It may have something very similar. It may not. But just remember that the tuner in the radio will sh affect the SWR read by the meter. So it will tell you what your transmitter is looking at. Not what the tuner is looking at but what the transmitter is looking at. Let's jump in and take a look. Okay, we are looking at the screen of the ICOM 7300. And we're going to look at three different ways you can tell the SWR of your antenna. The first, of course, is the um, SWR meter right here. If you press on that meter, see now it's looking at automatic level control there it's uh, compression, there it's the voltage, current, power out, SWR, back to SWR. Okay, and when we transmit, I'm going to transmit on 7150 here. Hello test, hello test, hello test, KE0 OG testing. Now, you will notice that that SWR went up, went up quite a bit. Okay, but it's not telling you exactly what it is. But we can look down here. If we go to menu, um, meters, you see all the different, oops, menu, meters, you see all the different meters that are available. And SWR is down there. Hello test, hello test, hello test. Um, that's a pretty bad SWR on that. And so that's, this is way one. This is way two, where you can look at all the meters at once. Now, if we were to put the tuner in here by pressing on the tuner key, right there, pressing on the tuner key, and then hold it down, whoops, tuner, hold it down, it has tuned. Now let's look at the SWR. Hello test, hello test, hello test. We've got a very nice SWR. It doesn't even move down at the bottom here. Okay, now let's look at the third way. If you press menu and SWR, you get this screen here. And I'm going to turn the tuner off. This right here will give us a, a graph of the SWR. And here's how we do it. We've got 7150 cent in the middle. Note it only goes up to 7210 and down to 7090. The steps right here, you can do a 10K, 50K, 100K, 500K. Now the thing is though, it will only do it 
uh, if it's in the handband. So you, I don't know why what those uh, big wide ones are for. You can select the number of bars from 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. So let's go back to 13. Okay. Now, we're going to start recording. And we're going to go across the band from 7089 to 7209. Now, here's how you do it. You have to press the push to talk button several times here. Each press gets you a bar. Okay. And that's looking pretty bad, SWR wise. Now let's go over here and turn on the tuner and then press it for a second so that it will tune. Now let's do that over again. Remember the SWR meter on the radio is attached to the output of the amplifier. So if you use the inboard tuner, you should be able to see an improvement in the SWR. And let's see what we get here. We get very, very good SWR right where we're transmitting. The antenna, which is an MFJ17754, is a dual band trapped dipole. And it will only operate on part of the 40 meter band plus the entire 20 meter band. So this is what we're seeing here. It's fairly high Q on 40 meters. But with the tuner, we can tune right on top of it, okay? Now, um, if we need to, we can press the recall button for a second and it will bring back the center frequency that we used. So with the tuner, that's, this is the internal tuner. With the tuner, it is uh, a very good, um, you have a very good match to the antenna. Now, I like more bars, but then, you know, we could go to three bars, and we'll start that one, two, three, uh, but we don't get much space there. So I would say run it at 13 bars, a 10K step, now, if we were to move this down to another area of the band and then take our measurements, we note that the frequency we're on is a lousy SWR because the tuner in this thing is not automatic. It will not automatically retune when you go to a new frequency. You have to tell it to tune. Okay, now let's uh, go ahead and press that and we'll check this area here, very nice. Okay, so for sure, you have to retune whenever you change frequency uh, a great deal, okay? And the tuner in here is capable of handling that antenna all the way across the band and you have a way of getting a nice little uh, graph. If you're trying to tune an antenna and you don't know where the center frequency is, you can use this method to find it. But make sure that the tuner is off so that what you're looking at is the real antenna. Because now we're looking at the real antenna. Yeah, boy, it just hits it, doesn't it? Okay. So, 7210 is just under 1.5 to 1, which is what the uh, uh, rig is drawing the uh, red line for. Okay, so this is a nifty little feature on the radio that I didn't know about until Augie Harry Arundel told me about it. And I went looking for it, and sure enough, it's there. And sure enough, it's in the owner's manual, too, and described very thoroughly on how you can do that. Now, if you want to keep that picture, you can come over here to the power button, and we'll press the power button once, 
and see it's capturing the picture and it's now on the little card down here. So you can keep those pictures uh, for your logbook or whatever you'd like. Okay, so we had a chance to look at different ways that the ICOM 7300 can measure SWR. Your radio, if you've got a fairly uh, recent radio over the last 10 years or so, undoubtedly measures SWR. That's one of your choices for measurement. And um, also, you probably have a tuner in, in, built into the radio. If you turn that tuner on, the SWR meter measures the effect of the tuner and the transmission line and the antenna, the combination of those three. Okay, so that's what your transmitter is actually seeing, is the combination of those three. Now, as you tune down the band in frequency, you may have to press the tune button so that it can retune and get a new fix on uh, what is the best setting for the tuner. Usually they're automatic. They will find that setting automatically. Okay, so there you have it. Please subscribe, please click like, and uh, click on the uh, notification button. And also take a look at dkessler.com support for various ways that you can help fund this channel. And until we next meet, 73.